I'm Liz Gleedle, I throw javelin, I train in Lethbridge, and I'm from Vancouver. I don't really have an idol. I think that you shouldn't hold one person to the higher standard of being the best because you know, when they have one small flaw, it kind of ruins them for you. So I try and surround myself with people who I look up to for different reasons. Uh, my parents, my mom's wonderfully optimistic and says, if you're gonna do something, do it right, whether it's the dishes or training. Um, my dad has been my biggest supporter and been so wonderful for teaching me baseball and basketball and soccer. Uh, my best friends, one of them trained with me up until the Olympic Games and she was my little ball of fire that just kind of kept me going even when I was tired. So every friend has something that I really admire in them and I try and emulate because they say you are a product of your best friends. Monday through Friday I do double workouts, except for Wednesdays, that's only one I get to sleep in. And it's, I start off, I do half an hour of warm up, then I do between an hour and hour and a half of throwing, and then I do an hour to hour and a half of lifting. So it's a very long day. It's anywhere from kind of two and a half to six and a half hours of working out per day. So in between that time, so I get up at five, I work out, I go home, I eat, I sleep, I get up, I eat again, I prepare for my next workout, I work out, I get home, and I might read or Skype my boyfriend before I go to sleep, and that's my Monday through Friday. Everybody has to struggle to get what they want in their life. You know, you want to make more money, you got to put in longer hours. You want to have a great body because you want to work out, you got to go to the gym. Like, everybody has to choose their struggle. And I think you just have to kind of decide what kind of struggle you're willing to live with and decide that it's not a big deal because what you want outweighs the thing that's really hard. Knowing that I push myself to the limit every day, it's, I train and, you know, I'm not running around the track doing my sprints at half effort. I'm going and my heart's pounding and my legs hurt and, you know, your body's on fire. But you know that as soon as you're done that workout that that made you better and you put everything you had into it and there's nothing more rewarding than knowing that you gave your all and it's going to come back to you. And then probably the other biggest thing is knowing that I try and inspire other people by doing my all in what I do so that they can do their all in what they do. And I know I've had some kids come and say that to me that they thought that was really inspiring that we're on the track team and they saw me doing my thing and their practices after mine and they worked harder at theirs so that makes me happy.